Hey folks, you knew this was coming and you all asked for this capability. Today, we are going to talk about our advanced radio over IP implementation with the L3 Harris PRC-163 and PRC-167 tactical radios. Radio over IP is the technology we implement to take your tactical radio or walkie-talkie and share it with your team over the wave relay network. This enables your team to communicate on tactical radios without having to carry them. We are always trying to reduce the amount of weight everyone is carrying while increasing your team's capability. In front of me, I have the L3 Harris PRC-163, a two-channel dismounted tactical radio, and the L3 Harris PRC-167, a two-channel man pack radio. These systems have two separate transceivers, meaning you can run two different waveforms simultaneously. Typically, you would run voice on transceiver one and data on transceiver two. Today, we're discussing an advanced radio over IP implementation where we connect our MPU-5 to the L3 Harris PRC-163's radio transceiver one to bridge their push-to-talk voice into the wave relay network. Currently, we are not interfacing with Radio Transceiver 2, which typically handles the data side of the L3 Harris radio. So let's review. Traditionally, a radio over IP connection would take just the analog speaker or my clients from the tactical radio and connect them to the MPU-5 to digitize the audio. Now, Imagine simply plugging your tactical radio into your MPU-5 and having your ROIP configuration happen automatically. Let's start with just the connection between the two systems. We have our MPU-5 MAN-A network and a tactical radio, the PRC-163 from L3 Harris. We not only connect the audio lines, but establish a USB data connection between the two systems. This data connection allows you to send commands from the MPU-5 to the L3 Harris radio, set configuration settings, and monitor the radio for changes. This is key to automating radio over IP and making it simple to use. In front of me, I have an L3 Harris PRC-163 handheld and a PRC-167 manpack radio. Both are configured with presets for FiresNet, Tactical Satellite, Medevac, and Foreign Forces, just like you'd expect when an RTO hands you a radio. Now, I'm going to connect the PRC-163 to my MPU-5, and we are going to see what happens. You notice that the MPU-5 configured the PRC-163 radio to send its audio out RT-1 to prepare the system for radio over IP. Next, you'll see that the MPU-5 configured the PRC-163's volume level to the best setting to support crystal clear radio over IP. Even if I manually turn the PRC-163's volume back up, the MPU-5 will automatically reset it to the correct output volume. Finally, the MPU-5 checked which preset the PRC-163 radio was set to. In this case, it's on fires now. If we look at the web management interface, we see that the MPU-5 detects the PRC-163's connection, identifies it as being on FiresNet, and associates it with the MPU-5's FiresNet talk group. If we turn the knob on the PRC-163 to move from FiresNet to Medevac, the MPU-5 automatically detects the change and associates the PRC-163 with the Medevac talk group. And, just in case you were wondering how to ensure the preset is accurate, you will get an audible announcement in your ear saying, Tactical Radio, Medevac. It's really that simple. You pick up a PRC-163, connect it to the MPU-5, and select whatever preset you want. You don't even need the web management interface. We also created an Android application, which makes it even easier to manage. When you launch the app, 
It shows in green the talk group that the PRC-163 is operating on. Right now, that's Medevac. If we just tap FiresNet, the MPU-5 will instruct the PRC-163 to change its preset to FiresNet. And FiresNet now turns green. If we look at the PRC-163, we can see the preset change happening. Another amazing feature is the ability to log into a remote advanced ROIP node, where another PRC-167 is connected. You can do this right through the app and change the presets, just like you are doing on the radio you are carrying. In this case, I can remotely configure my PRC-167 to a different preset. Whether this radio is on another person or a vehicle, the entire team can access the tactical radio's frequency. Customers are always asking us, how are you interoperable with other radio systems? We believe that putting highly capable 30 to 512 tactical radios on the network gives every soldier access to the information they need. Users need systems that are easy to operate, extremely reliable, and can quickly achieve the outcome the soldier requires. We have completely automated the setup and configuration of Radio Over IP to meet that need. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you have additional questions, please comment below.